How does the use of evidence-based practices and the approach to instruction and intervention change as behavior or academic issues become more severe? When looking at, at DBI across uh, at different levels of intensity, um, I think it's important to consider uh, how much you're customizing it for the individual student. Um, when we start off at, at initial tier one levels of, of intervention, uh, we're really trying to look at packages that are going to be effective for very large groups of kids. Um, as we move into to tier two, so kids that are at risk and start to have uh, initial difficulty, um, we start to select individual DBI or evidence-based interventions or whatever term we want to use uh, that are going to be effective for different clusters of kids, so kids who have reading fluency problems or kids who have attention-seeking behavior or something of that like. Uh, the goal for that particular level is to find interventions that are going to be effective for 75, 80, 90 percent of kids in that cluster, but not every individual child. When we get to kids with truly intense needs, and so these would have been our traditional special ed population, uh, at that stage we have to stop using interventions which are going to be effective across groups of kids and customize the intervention for the individual child. So uh, pick a particular reinforcer that's going to work for, for a target child, or if a child's engaging in escape behavior, understand exactly what the escape is and then work with that particular uh, with that particular child. So it's really about customization. The actual core technology or the core techniques uh, tend to be, be very similar across the phases. I mean, when we're working with attention-seeking children, we find ways to systematically give them attention in a pro-social manner. When we're working with kids who are escaping, we try to understand why they're escaping and, and try to, to deal with that, try to either train the skill or, or find a, a means to get them to do a behavior without having to uh, engage in that particular behavior, so the, the particular escape behavior. So, um, really, customization is is the key component as it goes across intensity levels. Mm -hmm.